Man, where are you going today? I'm going to Raleigh. Raleigh, you're continuing your southern tour? Yes, well, it's not a complete southern tour anyway. We only have about four more days to go in it anyway. What kind of reception do you expect in the, uh, in the southern cities that you'll sing in? Well, I can only go by what we've already experienced, which has been wonderful so far. So, you know, this is our 12th day on this tour. Uh, and we actually it's been wonderful. You know, we started this tour last Easter Sunday in Texas, and uh, we swung through the mid mid southern states, and it's been all right so far. You don't expect a repetition of what happened in Birmingham, then? Well, no. I mean, you don't expect it, of course. But we didn't expect that. Well, uh, they say that uh, the reason those men attacked you was because of a of a feeling against rock and roll music and Negro music, so-called. Now, what do you feel about that? Well, I mean, if that was the case, then I'm the wrong guy. <laughs> you're, you're not rock and roll? I don't think so. I think if you heard me before, I'm sure you wouldn't ask me that if you heard me before. What do you know what rock and roll is? What were you singing when those men attacked you? Oh, I don't, I've forgotten now. It was one of the old standard songs or some sort. It wasn't the particular song that I was singing. I could have been come, I could have been singing Near My God to these boys. They were concerned at that time, you know. So I, I don't think the song had anything to do with it. Well, Mrs. Colby going on the tour with you? Yes, yeah, she just came in from Los Angeles to join me for a couple of days, and I think she was at home at the time all this happened, and uh, with the kids, and she actually became a little excited, wanted to come back and join me for a couple of days. Do you think by your tour uh, that you're helping the cause of integration in the South? Well, yes, I I have been uh, asked by a lot of people, why do I play to second grade audiences? But uh, you see, in my profession, I'm an entertainer, and uh, I think in playing to all types of audiences, and uh, particularly being a Negro performer, and you have in white as well as colored audiences, you're helping a lot to bring people together. And uh, you just can't say if you just turn your back on it completely because I have no jurisdiction over the law. Of course, I don't condone the segregated audiences. I never have. But I can't in my own voice just walk out on the stage in any state and just say I demand integration because uh, we have a Supreme Court and everything else trying to settle this issue. So I don't see why people expect for me to be that more powerful than any law that we have in the land because naturally I'm for it. Uh, integrated audiences and I hope that in the near future with the public relation work that we are trying to do as entertainers will help that. Well Mrs. Cole, do you have any fears about your husband going south again? Yes, I have a little. I, I don't think that we can be assured that it won't happen again, but I'm hoping that it won't. I'd rather be with him though at now at the present. You're hoping that it's just an unfortunate incident that won't be repeated? Well, I think it was just one of those emotional outbursts that happened, and uh, from the indication from the cities that we are going to travel, we have gotten some wonderful words of encouragement from very outstanding citizens who deplored such actions, and particularly from the high officials of each one of these sounds we're going to, and they have said that they were positive of not anything of that sort, and, they expect to keep complete decorum at all times. So, here we go. Thanks very much, and lots of luck on your tour. Thank you. Now back to John Daly in New York.